Hello everybody, welcome back to Cure for the Common Game. Today in deck number 637, we're going to talk about Averna, the Chaos Bloom. Now, green, blue, red, uh, my spidey sense tells me that is called Timur or Ketria. I don't know. Definitely didn't get those crayons in my crayon box. But anyway, we get a 4-2 Elemental Shaman. This is super weird. As, as you cascade, you may put a land from among the exiled cards onto the battlefield tapped. Now, this inherently does not have cascade. It does not grant cascade. But it gives you a bonus when you cascade. Uh, you get to ramp. So, obviously I wanted to jam as many cascade cards as possible in this deck. That seems like a good place to start, actually. So let's start with our 20 Cascade cards. This is not a lot. What is that? Um, well, it's 20. That's 20% 20 of the deck. <laughs> so we have Maelstrom Wanderer in the new full etched frame. Love it. Uh, but this way, you know, all your stuff has haste. It's a big beater. Uh, it has Cascade twice. So that is neat. Uh, we have, you know, big boy, Cascade Photons. And one thing to note is the very last line of this reminder text here. Multiple instances of Cascade trigger separately. So if you, like Emoti here, I know we, we did that deck not long ago, but... If we have Emoti out, your CMC 6 or greater spells have Cascade again, in addition to what they already do. Now, that doesn't do, you know, Shardless Agent any favors, but uh, Maelstrom Colossus has Cascade, hopefully twice. Um, Natural Reclamation, Boarding Party, Annoyed Altasaur, Ingenuity Engine, Aurora Phoenix... Love me some Sakashima's protege. It is kind of meh. You may have it entered the battlefield as a copy of any permanent that entered the battlefield this turn, so mm, I don't know. Uh, Meteoric Mace, Sweet Gum Recluse, some counterspell action and forceful denial. A Volcanic Torment, Flamekin Herald. Reaching back to the very first Cascade, uh, Violent Outburst, Blood Braid. we got to have Blood Braid Elf, right? Uh, it, the, the Ethereum Horn Sorcerer, that's cool-looking Minotaur. And Throws of Chaos. Now, I love that this has Retrace, right? So that we can continue. That's all it does. Is <laughs> That's all it does is Cascade Retrace. It, it doesn't do anything. No, it does nothing. Anyway, um, so obviously living the dream would be cascading down. Now, I do have, since we do get to put lands in there, I've got a Phylath and a Rampaging Baylos to kind of maybe try to maximize some of that landfall trigger since we are getting free lands every time that we cascade, in theory, eh, maybe. So let's look at our ramp, which is remarkably more color fixing than ramp, but uh, in no particular order whatsoever. This is all but all jumbled up. Fintorn Elves, you know, why not? Uh, Talisman of Impulse, Rampant Growth, Colony Heart Expedition, Farseek. By the way, Farseek stock has just increased in my book because this Joker, um, today, I know that I'm recording this to the future, so this is old news to y'all, but in Kaldheim, we're going to have a cycle of snow duels that have basic land types. Yeah, they come into play tapped. I don't care. Because <laughs> um, Farseek puts them into play tapped anyway, right? Uh, Ar Arcane Signet. Commander Sphere, Burnished Heart, Spectral Searchlight, Harrow, 
Dark Steel Ingot, Catcher of Crystal, Team Your Banner, Girl's Signet, Civic Wayfinder, and Lanoir Visionary. Now I know that there are, there is a, a you know, because that's a lot of ramp, and there is pretty good odds that we're just going to cascade into more ramp instead of cascading into another cascade creature. I get it. But, yeah, pretty good. Uh, card draw, question mark? I mean, you know, obviously stuff like Rites of Flourishing, Bonder's Ornament. I count Explore because you're always drawing the card. You may not always be able to play the land. Same way with Coiling Oracle. Um, and I, count, I put the Wall of Blossoms in because I was like, well, this is not... It's not bad just... On turn two, you know, if you don't have ramp or what have you, it's not bad just to hold the early game. It's also not bad at the end of a cascade train, train chain, you know, and you end up with a wall of blossoms and you can draw a card. Uh, Sylvan's crying. I, I don't consider ramp because it's not getting us a land. It's just putting it in the hand. And then Karuga, because um, this we're probably going to cascade into it, and you know. We got a lot of permits that are CMC 3 or greater, and this is just in the 99, so that companion ability it isn't even there. Uh, well, let's do our random category. Things that we would like to cascade into. You know what I'm saying? Master Thief. Hey, I'll take that artifact. Trophy Mage to go and get one of the big artifacts. Because all the big artifacts have cascade, you know. Decoy Gambit. Hmm. This is a super boomerang. Okay, unsummon. That's an unsummon. So, uh, Team Your Charm. I want not. Eternal Witness is just, I mean, it's a great card we're playing green. I wish I had a, you know, to one of these for every green deck. Uh, maybe I wouldn't use it, but there's a good chance I might. Um, Urban Evolution. That should have been with card draw. Uh, Peel from Reality. Burning Tree Emissary, because why not, right? And then a Fog. Gotta have a Fog. I have seen so many games turned by a Fog for one player over committing to an attack. For sure, winning the game that turn, over committing and not having blockers and dying on the crackback. Fog's a great card. Removal. Kind of removal stuff, you know. Return to Nature, Naturalize, Abrade, Reclamation Sage, Magma Spray, and Acidic Slime. Get up here for before we get to our non-basic lands is all that's left. Uh, got a bunch. We have Terramorphic Expanse, Rupture Spire, Path of Ancestry, yeah, I know it doesn't share. I mean, it's, it's, it's not a tribal, but it is tap to add one man of any color. You know, under the command tower, if, there's my Evolving Wilds. I didn't forget this time. <laughs> Blighting Woodland. Is it Boilerworks? Is it Guildgate? Thornwood Falls. Simic Guildgate. Rugged Highlands. Gruel Turf. Gruel Guildgate. Timber Gorge and Swiftwater Cliffs. And that is it for this particular deck. Uh, Averna, 637. I don't... I've never been like a really huge Cascade kind of person in Commander. It was pretty amazing uh, the first time the mechanic came out in Standard. Um, back then, Cascade was just the... I mean, because you would cast like... Everything was an ultimatum. It... If you cast, you know, Bituminous Blast into Bloodbraid Elf into Blightning, you just cast Bituminous Ultimatum, you know. And that happened when you got four copies of each one in the small deck. Anyway, we're not worried about that. But it was a stellar mechanic in that place and time, you know. Um, in Commander, I've never been... It's pretty much buy one, get one free, right? So, anyway, that is... 637 it is done. Put it on the wall. You'll have to excuse my 
barbecue sauce on my shirt there. Those on me crew is pretty good and pretty messy. <laughs> but uh, that's all I have got for today. And um, we live in interesting times, no doubt. I don't comment on these interesting times because I know magic is my escape from from the world, right? Um, sometimes the world is not all we want it to be. And I know that you don't watch me for my worldly opinions. You watch for this, right? <laughs> I know I do. Well, I mean... I'm in it for this, but let's stay safe, everybody, and uh, play the game because you love it. I do. But right now, we're going to shuffle and cut.